Take a glimpse back in time to Florida in its most natural setting at the Ordway Swisher Biological Station. This 9,000-acre research and education facility is located just 24 miles east of Gainesville. The land was purchased by the Swisher family before being turned over to the University of Florida to manage and protect it. The mission of the station is threefold, to protect the conservation value of the site, to allow scientists to discover and study the natural ecology of this region, and finally, to serve as a natural laboratory for students and the next generation of conservation scientists. To achieve this mission, the station maintains and protects a complex mosaic of environments that provides a home for more than 500 plant and 270 animal species. It's this combination of land, water, and wildlife that makes the Ordway Swisher Biological Station such a valuable resource. To have this type of diversity on this size of land uh, is unique. We have uh, some of the nicest longleaf wiregrass sand hill that you'll find in the southeast. Dark water system, the clear water system, ephemerals. So folks that are interested in hydrological studies uh, have a lot to look at here. And these natural elements combined with the unique partnership of conservation, research, and education make the Ordway Swisher Biological Station a resource unlike any other in the world. The variety of environments draws in researchers from across the globe and agencies from around the country. These agencies use the area for training on the latest conservation and management techniques like removal of invasive species and controlled burns. We also have uh, wildland fire training, and that can be from suppression training, learning your basics of how to fight a wildland fire. Uh, we do that with uh, students as well as uh, county and state folks who come here in the summertime. 25 years of continuous research has provided an important timeline of information about the land. Since 1982, the station has been a part of numerous graduate research projects and the foundation for hundreds of published reports, and much of that research focuses on the endangered Sand Hill ecosystem. There's so many students and faculty that can come out here and use this area to, to understand, you know, to research the area. And, um, and to learn about um, an, an endangered ecosystem. So I hope that I'm able to add even just a little bit to that research pool about understanding how vegetation affects fire behavior and how fire behavior comes back around and affects the, that vegetation. And what I found in my study was that increasing the amount of nitrogen can significantly increase the amount of understory vegetation, then you can potentially change the duration and the intensity of these fires, which could have major consequences for the animals living in them and for people that live close by, you know, and also could um, make wildfires more unpredictable. Yet much about how this system works remains unknown. More research is needed to understand the natural environment and the most effective ways to conserve Florida's precious ecosystem and natural areas. It's very difficult to, to find pieces of property like Ordway that offer us the opportunity to see what naturally functioning ecosystems in this area should be, be like. Uh, without places like this, we'd, we're not really sure what a system should be functioning like and what our, our ultimate goal in restoration should be. And scientists are just now beginning to understand the impact the station could have on global conservation efforts. The combination of a unique set of plant and animal communities, relatively pristine natural environments, and the close proximity of the University of Florida has set the stage for the Ordway Swisher to play a globally significant role in education and research. And it's that that's really created the interest that we're seeing from outside organizations in our station. In recognition of its importance, the National Ecological Observatory Network, or NEON, is including the Ordway Swisher Biological Station in its new national program. NEON will gather, store, and share continuous, real-time information about biodiversity, climate, and the physical environment from 20 sites across the country. The goal is to make it possible for scientists to determine and forecast the ecological state of the nation. NEON will be using a set of cutting-edge research approaches and a sophisticated array of environmental sensors to gauge the pulse of our ecosystems, both here at the Ordway Swisher and across the country. 
The primary goal of NEON will be to better understand those systems in the face of change and to learn how we can better conserve and manage those systems over time. The station also plays a critical role in educating future conservation scientists and land managers. Here, the students can get hands-on experience working with the lands and animals they will spend their lives trying to manage and protect. It's a great, uh, a great mix of species and of environments that they can work in and uh, it's all very accessible, sort of compact in the sense that the reserve is, is uh, accessible you know, they can get between these environments in one morning. Students can try out new management techniques and see the impact they can make on the world. And most importantly, they can witness firsthand the beauty and power of nature working in harmony. But education and research-based conservation efforts are just part of the long-term goals for the Ordway Swisher Biological Station. Currently, access to the station is restricted to only educators, students, researchers, and managers. But plans are underway for the construction of a new, state-of-the-art research and public education campus. This area will include additional laboratory space for researchers, more classrooms for teaching, and a new building reserved for public outreach and education. In the future, we're planning to have a, an area open to the, uh, the public, so it's K through 12, Kids, school kids can come in and get a direct experience. Uh, the public can also get access to, to an area to where they can understand what we do and why it's important to have the site protected. But this new facility cannot be completed without additional support and resources. Researchers also need help to continue their work collecting critical information to improve the health of not only this unique ecosystem, but other similar systems around the world. Change is a natural part of every environment, but with your support, we can make sure that future changes to the Florida ecosystem are for the better. Help protect this natural wonder by supporting the Ordway Swisher Biological Station and its research and educational efforts. You can't really put a, like a dollar value, but these ecosystems are home to so many natural animals and plants, and they help like cycle nutrients and clean our air. So it's, it's very important to maintain these intrinsically. The unique place such as Ordway Swisher is uh, uh, important to protect because it's basically an outdoor laboratory. And to have this environment that folks that can come in and do research as well as teaching uh, is unique. The station is actively seeking partners to help us achieve its tremendous potential in conservation, research, and education. If you are interested in partnering with us, please ask how you can show your support for the future of the Ordway Swisher Biological Station.